SGTV, in cooperation with the Snellville Historical Society, proudly presents a celebration of 60 years of achievement at South Gwinnett High School. The history behind South Gwinnett High School is one of innovation, enterprise, and success. A school driven by a commitment to provide students with the academic and professional skills needed beyond the walls of the classroom. South Gwinnett High School was born from a merger between Snellville and Grayson High Schools in 1957. The land was purchased by Gwinnett County from James Sawyer, who was one of the original founders of Snellville. The 16-acre tract of land sold for $3,200 and was located off Highway 78, which was then a quiet two-lane road. Construction of the school began in 1956 and was completed in time for the 1957 school year. When the school opened, it housed 300 students, one principal, and 12 faculty members. Before long, a student committee was formed to determine the school mascot and agreed upon the Comets. That time was when Sputnik had gone off as by the Russians and spaceships were just being heard of and a day or two before that, a comet had flown through the air and people were talking about it as well. So I mentioned to the group, we ought to call South Gwinnett the Comets. And lo and behold, they voted yes, and that's how the Comets became the South Gwinnett Comets. In its infancy, the school often relied on the support of the community and staff to help launch new programs. This was especially true of the athletic department. Coaches often led the charge in fundraising for construction and equipment needs and often participated in actually building the structures needed. Local families, students, and staff came together and volunteered their time to support the needs of the school for future generations. I can't say enough good things about South Gwinnett. I really can't. And my family, I know, was a big part of getting the stadium built and part of the Touchdown Club and South Gwinnett Athletic Fields, which were originally ER Snell Fields. I mean, I spent half of my life over there, you know, playing ball and watching ball, and, and I'm glad I have all the memories, because I definitely do. It seemed everyone was willing to pitch in to support the students, even so far as filming the school football games from a high vantage point, a small platform attached to a light pole. No railing, nothing. It sh every time you moved, the thing would shake. So you found somebody that had a lineman's belt for the telephone company and lineman people. So I had a chair up there and I could sit down and look over the edge and film. That spirit of cooperation still exists today. There is a rich tradition of fostering student success through academic and athletic endeavors. Whether on the courts or in the classroom, South Gwinnett will always welcome the opportunity to educate, motivate, and inspire the next generation. I loved coming to their class because they were just excellent teachers and they showed you that they cared about you and they made learning fun and exciting. And now looking back on the teachers that I had at South, now that I am a teacher, there's a lot that they instilled in me that have, um, that's really shaped who I am as a teacher and as a person. Through the years, the Gwinnett County Public School System has implemented new teaching strategies and technologies to keep in step with the fast-paced demands of the modern world. One of the most significant changes was the emergence of computer education. South Gwinnett quickly recognized the impact of new technologies and was the first school in the county to begin teaching with computers. Second year that I was here, we asked for a Radio Shack TRS-80, which was the first computer ever in a business ed classroom in Gwinnett County. And so we started that program here at South Gwinnett. That was the very beginning of getting computers in the classroom. Change for South Gwinnett also meant growth. The original structure could no longer house the number of students enrolled. Here, Principal Bobby Krausen explains the important impact that the local option sales tax had on the school during that time. When I came to South Gwinnett in 19, 
97, I believe, there were eight high schools and we were in the midst of a huge building program in Gwinnett County. The SPLOST, the penny sales tax, had not been voted on. I don't think it had ever been, even been created at the legislature at that time. And everything depended on bond issues to be voted on by the public. When the penny sales tax came in, building exploded, including at South Gwinnett High School. Uh, South Gwinnett was one of the original three high schools when Gwinnett County and all of the cities, including Snellville, became one system. Since I came here, building has been an absolute necessity and a constant, especially at South Gwinnett High School. That growth manifested in many different ways. Principal Clay Hunter began challenging students to seriously consider a future that included college. He supported his motto, college, not if, but where, 110% during his time at South Gwinnett. So some students again came back and said, well, what about college? Because um, some of us have never been and we'd like to go and see what it's all about. So we won a grant and uh, we were able to use that grant to start to actually take students to college. So I thoroughly enjoyed taking my spring break and getting on the bus with about 40 or some odd students. We must have visited about 30 colleges over two years. And we had um, about 40 students with us each and every time. The need for relevance in the classroom and beyond was markedly apparent in the 21st century. South Gwinnett was one of the first schools in the county to adopt an innovative educational model called the Academy. We discovered the Academy model, and it was a model that we um, did a lot of research on. Uh, we went and visited schools all around the country, and we had uh, consultants come in and talk with us. But we also knew that we had the support of our CEO superintendent, Mr. Wilbanks, and this is something that um, he was on board with and it was something that uh, our community leaders was also on board with. But we wanted to make sure that they were ready for, for the world that they were graduating to. And so the Academy model helped us answer that question. South Gwinnett's current principal, Monique Lee, will continue shaping the Academy model to ensure that all students have the opportunity to achieve their greatest potential. Embedded in both the community and school system for 16 years, Mrs. Lee values the opportunity to lead the school forward. South Gwinnett will always have a special place in my heart, not as, uh, just as a staff member, but as a parent. We believe that uh, student success is our success, and I truly believe that our staff um, feels that it's our job to motivate, inspire, and to make sure that our students are college and career ready and ready to compete in a global society. I look forward to the great things that are gonna come from South Gwinnett High School in the future. Throughout its span of 60 years, South Gwinnett High School has been a model of modernization and prosperity. It was formed by the pioneering spirit of its teachers, community, students, and leaders. And it is that spirit that has been a unique and enduring trait of South throughout the years and will continue to be so in the future. Happy anniversary, South